Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Thank you guys for tuning in. Of course, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are doing a nighttime quest. It's not officially a nighttime quest. It's just a quest I accepted so I could do it during the nighttime. But it's not like an official nighttime quest. But the stakes will still be high. The zombies will be running, and we will be ready for the challenge of running zombies. All right, let's go ahead and do this. It's 267 meters away. Not too far. Not too bad. And it's a warehouse, apparently. We haven't done a warehouse quest in a good little minute. So, ooh, look at that big warehouse. Okay. So, it must be this one. I think this is like a grocery store, though, isn't it? Yeah, okay. This will be a little interesting. This will be a little interesting. I also want to spend a little bit more time uh, actually gathering resources, like resources like this on the outside, just because these give me small rocks and, uh, you know, cement and stuff, which I'll need to upgrade the base in the future. And that's just something that I would like to do. Um, but this guy is actually a pretty big location. I want to loot all the cars. See, we got parts in there. We might be able to get ourselves a fire axe. That's one of the things that we're missing, like, really, really bad right now. Is just a fire axe. And I know that sometimes cars have fire axes. I haven't taken the time out of my day to, like, search all the cars or whatnot. So, since this one has, like, two of them on the outside, I mean... Like, I might as well search them, right? Or four, three of them on the outside. Come run at me. Oh, there's a whole bear over there. And they're coming. Ah! Okay, the bear's coming too. Let's kill these guys first. Knock these guys out. Oh, the bear's not coming. Okay, yeah, the bear's just killing whatever the bear's killing. Yeah, they're finding each other. I was about to say, the bear's coming. We might be messed up. I was going to take my pistol out. Let him get close. I'm turning out the shoddy. All right, I'm ready for him. Come here. Come towards me. I'm making noise. I'm saying it's open area. I'm not going in close quarters. Come back with no zombies. Come at me, bros. I'm ready for everything. Come on. That's it. No, a few of them are going to be outside. Might as well open this door for them, though. Hello. Hello. I think we're good. Yes, sir. I think we're good. All right. Do a little bit of looting. I still want to just wait around first before I really loot. Want to just take out all the zombies in this area, right? Holy. And then I want to loot after I take them all out. I think that'll be way better for me. Not me missing. Okay. So far, so good. Definitely gonna have to go up there. Hello. No one in there? He came from the ceiling, bro. Holy. I think that's all of them except uh him, wherever he's at. And until we actually go upstairs through the ladder. Left, right? Left. Got to be a lot of zombies up here. There we go. There we go. Anyone else? Hello. Anyone else? Is that it? Fall down right there. I guess that's where uh, the other zombies fell down from. I think that's all. Yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and do some looting. So we got a little bit of a schematic. Probably going to sell that for sure. Where's the big loot at, though? I don't see the big loot. Unless I'm supposed to fall down. No way. That just goes straight back to the start. I actually don't know where the big loot is. It's got to be somewhere around here, right? I didn't pass it up, did I? 
Hold up. Every place has big loot. We came out from there. We went to the left. Where is it? Hmm. I actually have no idea where this, uh, where the big loot is right now. We don't drop down into there. And then it's just this. Am I missing something here? Maybe it's downstairs? And not actually upstairs? Let's, let's, uh, hmm. Let's go downstairs for a minute. Maybe it's somewhere down there. And we just, like, missed it or something. Oh. There's a whole hole right here. All right, let's go through here. All right. We got to make sure not to fall, I'm assuming. I think we're going the right direction. So we go all the way around here. Aha! Hello! Here we go. There's a reinforced crate. There you are. I was looking for you, man. I was looking for you. Where's your friends? Like the weapon bag and the medical supply and the the other boxes that I have to mine. You know what I mean? Like, where's the rest of them? They must be scattered everywhere. Something like that. Because there's no way, right? Thirsty and I'm hungry. I gotta make sure to take care of my virtual self. Oh, got a freaking Magnum schematic. We'll take that. We'll take everything here, actually. Freaking Magnum schematic? What? that noise thought i heard something magnum magnum schematic is wild i'll take that any day is there anything else here hello here's the weapon bag here it is definitely gonna take that i think that's pretty much everything in here yeah i'm not gonna break my leg am i all right where y'all at i hear y'all just being around this place usually has like a lot of like good just mini items. So we're going to go ahead and loot this up a lot. Uh, and I'll catch you guys later when I'm done. Hello. All right. We are back at the oh, my camera. The heck? Uh, what? Oh, we're not. He's not open yet. He's about to be open. Right. 605, I think. Uh, I was like, I, I got off the motorcycle there. But when I came back, it was, I was, you know what I mean? But <laughs> he should be open now. Ah. Yeah, we uh we finished the quest. We got a little bit of stuff. I'll show you what we got after. Oh, we got a hunting rifle. That is actually really good. I am so happy about this hunting rifle right now. Because our whole gist, our whole like thing that we're trying to do is be 25% more damage to animals. We're trying to be a hunter, right? We're trying to be like the sniper dude. You feel me? You know what I mean? So yeah, we got ourselves a 8x scope, which I think is amazing. We got ourselves an anvil, which I think is awesome as well. Um, those were the pretty much the two biggest things that we got out of the entire like raid situation. Um, and we got ourselves a hunting rifle, which is lit. I think that we're gonna eat like a little bit one more of these. I'm trying to figure out where we're actually gonna put this thing. We can get rid of the cobblestone rocks. We don't really need that. But it, oh, tier four tier four man we're at tier four now what should we get i think we get ranged mods bro we can already make a generator bank right we don't really need leather armor dart trap rather have the ak trap don't really care about the dart trap melee mods we're all about the hunting rifle bro let's go ranged mods on this one we're going ranged mods on this one. we definitely got to pick it up too um we could do like one last tier three this one's 1.2 kilometers away i kind of do want to go far I think we take this one just so we can get out of the I zone we're in. Some help, it's a church. Friend. Oh, it's a church. Yeah, let's God do that speed. one. I don't think we've gone to a church yet. We can get rid of. I don't know. Hmm. Let's get rid of the springs. I think we can craft springs because I really want to get that ranged moss. I want to see what's inside that ranged moss. If we can like make our hunting rifle like awesome, that would be ideal. Get out of my way. That will be amazingly ideal. I'm gonna put my stuff up real quick and uh, let's see what we we come up with with this um this little contraption of a box here. Woo! Look at this thing. This thing is lit, bro. I so I put the scope on it. I put the 8x scope on it. Um, and I also put an extended barrel on it, bro. This is like the true sniper right here. 
Anything from afar, I am definitely taking. I'm just looking for a zombie for me to take out right now. I can't find one. But, bro, this is so awesome. I can't wait to use this during Horde Night. Just boom. Headies, bro. Headies on headies on headies. I also noticed that uh, Mr. Sledge isn't here. And I don't recall actually picking him up either, which is a little weird. Um, I know I have more. So, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, right? But the fact that he's just not there anymore concerns me. I'll be honest. It concerns me because I liked him and I don't know why he just up and disappeared on me. Unless a zombie came and attacked it and destroyed him. But I don't see a bag anywhere or anything like that. So I really have no idea what happened. But anyways, I'm going to open this now. Let's see what we can get out of it. Okay. So we got another 8x scope, which is awesome. We also got a drum mag. Wow. Doubles ammo capacity on machine guns, but it's a little slower to reload. You already know what we're putting this on. You already know what we're putting the drum mag on, bro. Let's go ahead and modify this. Um, I think we get rid of the flashlight because we have a flashlight on our helmet anyways. And we just put the drum mag on. Let's go. How much does it hold? Definitely more than 30. So it's like 60 round mag now. I think it's a 60 round mag. That's awesome. That is awesome. We're not going to use it uh, until Horror Night, obviously. But it's still pretty awesome. So, yeah, that was... Oh, we also got this. Arrow bolts fly quicker and further with this modification. So, that's like for arrows and everything, which we don't really care about. Since we don't use bows and arrows at all. A little bit thirsty. Tricking us up. All right, I'm going to head over to the other quest location, 1.2 kilometers away. It's a church. was a little bit interesting. And uh, hopefully we get some more stuff. And we should be back before nightfall. That is the plan. That is the plan, Sam. All right, but I still got pistol ammo. got shotgun ammo. We're good on water for the most part. All right, let's go ahead and get over there. All right, we're here. That's a big church. Definitely going to have an underground area. I think all churches have an underground area. But you see how it's like going up the ladder? Not the ladder, but the stairs. Yeah, that's that's definitely just like a cue. Like, hey, you're going to have to go underground. I wonder if we go in through there. That'd be interesting. Um, or not. I think I was wrong. We go in straight from here. All right. Zombies already. Four of them. I like it. I like it. And they're all dead. What's behind the door? Definitely something behind this door. No way there's not. Hello. A lot of books. Oh. Hunting rifle schematic. I should have probably sold those. Still learning them, but I mean, whatever. Taking up too much space in my inventory. All of that stuff we already had. But it's nice to know there's uh, schematics in there, though. That is nice to know. So next time that we come in here, or when we uh, actually activate the quest. What's up here? Oh. When we actually activate the quest, we can get some schematics, which is nice. How'd I miss you? Is there even anything up here? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, so this is how we go down into this room, basically. Instead of, like, beating my way through. What, is there anything behind here? Oh. Okay. Hello. I wonder if we were supposed to go this way. I, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. Maybe we were. Or maybe this is just, like, a secret area, you know? Like, maybe. Just maybe, you know? Or maybe not. Possibly it's not. Oh! A lot of close quarters combat. Which I like, but I would not like if the zombies were running. I'd have my shotgun on the go, bro. For real. This is interesting. I like it, though. I like this. Oh. Got the underground bunker. Underground bunker, bro. Okay. Let me in. Oh, crap. Where y'all at? Oh. He has risen. And we're going back. What am I dealing with here? Just a bunch of zombies. Nothing too crazy. Alright. 
some bunk beds. That's interesting. Seems just, oh. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit of loot. Nice little backpack. Little bit of loot. Anything back here? Some trash. All right, we'll take that. All right, all right. What's back here? Some books. Don't really care about that. And the loot room. No way we were supposed to go down this way. This is like way too fast to be in the loot room. I feel like we didn't even go into the church. Or maybe we did go into the church, but it was like just a massive building. And like maybe we were supposed to go down here. I don't know. I'm conflicted. Because that didn't seem like anything like compared to like a tier three quest, right? That didn't seem like it was hard at all. Another level four hunting rifle. We'll take that. We'll definitely take that. But yeah, that didn't seem difficult at all. I gotta go back. We're going back. We're running it back. All right, we're running it back. I actually have no idea if I was supposed to like even like find this area. Like, was this like a completely just secret department down here? Or like, was it all planned? Was it a plan all along just for me to come down here? Huh? That's what I'm thinking right now. Either way, it didn't have any bad loot. I'll be honest. A lot of schematics, a gun, a good gun. Another, bro, we have three of those scopes now. We literally have three of these scopes now. Which is crazy. We're just going to learn that. Is this a schematic? Oh, it's a schematic. It's not the AI. Okay. Okay. A little skinny. We'll take it. Was that everything? And this goes outside. How much you want to bet it's the... How much, bro? Wait. I thought this was going to be a completely different area. Hidden by trees. Wow. All right. Let's take some steroids here. You see how big this place is? You think you're going inside the place and it's just like straight up on the ground. I need some meat from that dude. I wish I had me some uh, 716 on me. We're taking meat from him. Sorry. I have to feed myself. But yeah, I thought we were going to come out this way. That's why I was like, you know, you remember at the beginning, I was like, how much you want to bet? Yeah, there's nothing in here. All right, let's activate our quest real quick. Um, Maybe, because we went up there, right? Yeah, maybe we were supposed to go down there. Yeah, I think that was just a part of the quest. All of it was probably just uh, straight just a part of the quest, then. More than likely. Ding! Come down here. Repent. And you're not a part of the quest, but I'll kill you. You'll be annoying. Take this. Forgot this was logged. Here we go. Give me some more schematics. Paper. 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 Damn. <laughs> we got mad lucky the first time. The second time we come in here, just nothing but paper. Nothing but paper. I'm not here to play any games, no. Oh, my. There we go. There we go. There we go. How'd you not die the first time? Shame on you. Forgot we're supposed to fall. But I didn't fall. Because I'm not a failure. Okay, we always take lockpicks. Oh, I didn't think you were going to let me. Uh, Yeah, you never should have let me. And there's going to be a bunch of zombies down this hallway, so we're going to run. And turn. Boom! Boom! We're, yeah, we're definitely not getting that. I have no clue where that's at. Quest complete, I think? Dang. Nope, we still got zombies to kill. Of course we do. We got this guy to kill in here. Well, these guys. I don't even think this shot gonna reach that far. That or I'm just missing. Probably I'm just missing. More than likely. All right, I think that was everything. 
and we gotta check this out. Maybe there's something. Ah, eh, some metal. Eh, whatever. Loot room. That was it. It was that easy. That was like maybe the easiest tier three quest I have actually ever done. That was crazy. Uh, we got some rifle parts. Definitely gonna need that when we uh get to the crafting of the rifle. So that's really good. Take that. Um, I do want the bullet tips. Think I'm gonna get rid of nothing and just eat that. I also probably should eat the sandwich. Just so we have even more space. Alright, let's see what we get. Um, shotgun messiah. Shotguns do 10% more damage. Definitely gonna be taking that. Still club and some arrowheads. A potato. It's food. We're actually not gonna eat that because we're full on the hunger. So. And we got a bunch of meat. Corn recipe. I guess we'll take the corn recipe. Not too bad. Mm, not too bad. Could be better, but you know, mm, not too bad. Unlock for me, my friend, please. I'm intrigued on the insides of you. That was weird. That was weird, but I am intrigued. I would love to know what uh, what you have, bro. You have. Like that. I like that. Uh, Learn that. Iron Breaker. Pretty much don't need, but we'll take it anyways, and we're gonna replace it with this one cobblestone rock. And military armor. We don't really use a military armor like that, right? Mm. Drink the border water. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and skedaddle on out of here. Talk to Mr. Trader, dude. And uh, see what he gives us. Should be something good. I went to our whole church. Oh! Thank you, food, for bringing yourself to me. I appreciate that. We have a lot of meat right now. We got like a hundred meat. That is crazy. That should give us what, like, I don't know. I actually don't know. That should give us, I think, like 20, 20 grilled meat. So that's really good. That should last us for like a, a good little minute. But yeah, once I get to the trader, I'll catch you guys uh, once I get over there. All right, we made it over to Mr. Trader. Hello, sir. Let me see what you got for me, bro. A level three yeah. robotic sledge or painkillers? I think I'd rather take the robotic sledge. I think, um, hmm. yeah, I think the robotic sledge is the play. What should I get rid of, though? Let's remove the nails. We can always make more nails. We'll take the robotic sledge just in case. Just in case. Uh, we got 1,400 on the clock. We could do another clear zombies. And then come back and do a nighttime quest. I think that's the play. I think that's what we'll do. You the man. I think that's what we'll do. Just to capitalize on, you know, as much as we could do within the shortest amount of time. Get the most amount of resources and everything like that in the shortest amount of time. Um, and then the following day, our tier four quest should click in. So like day 17, when we get the new quest coming in, those should be tier four. That's what should be tier four. But yeah, this is pretty much what we got. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy. Not too crazy, but we're making progress. You know what I mean? We're making progress. We got a lot of meat. I killed like, like a bunch. Look at that, 50. That is nuts. I killed so many cougars and so many bears. I think I killed like three bears and like two cougars or something like that on the trip back, back over here, which is pretty insane. Pretty insane. Let's put all of our stuff away. Parts going there. Ammo. I want to learn how to make a magnum. I think rolling around with a magnum will be nuts. Let's see actually how you can make that mag. Magnum. So we need handgun parts for still. This is easy. This is easy, actually. It's level one. We're going to low side. Do we have the handgun parts? We do. We have 11. Hmm. Interesting. What other guns can we make? A compound bow would be cool, but... Hmm. Oh, yeah, the lever. I've always wanted to make the lever action. It's going to be level two as well. We got to level up a little bit more for us to make like higher level stuff. But I do want to make a lever action rifle. I think a lever action rifle will be awesome. What else can we make? We can make the tactical as well. Level one. Level one satch auto shotgun. Hmm. SMG five will be lit. M60 will be awesome. We already got a pumpy. So we don't need that. 
sniper rifle would be nuts. Yeah, I think we make that lever. I want to level up a little bit. I think that would be in the perception. Right here at Dead Eye. So we got to level this up. We got three skill points, but I still want to do the robotics and venture stuff. For this, we got to be level eight. So let's do that. Oh, we're not into like a level eight. Yeah, we got to level this up one more time. But yeah, I think the robot stuff will be awesome. That's why I want to do it so much. Um, I wonder if there's any glasses. Yeah, we don't have any glasses, do we? That give us like the upgraded. So we just got tough guy, which is just fortitude. Okay. Okay. But uh, in the future, we'll definitely, that'll definitely be something that we look forward to. For sure. Nice little upgraded double barrel. Get ourselves some shotgun parts. Kind of nice. We can put the terrestrial in there. Put this clay into here. Put the ammo on. We got some brass on us. Put the brass. Where the brass need to go? Um, sewing kicks. I think that's going to be used for armor in the future. Not really sure. I've never used a sewing kit before, but I mean, it's speaking armor to me, you know? It's speaking armor to me. Give me my steroids back. And robotic slash can uh, just go into miscellaneous. Just so we have like three, I guess, three of them. All right, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I, I guess we could scrap one of these just to get the um the parts. Since we, you know, it's it's no use having two level two ones, right? Now we have six rifle parts. That should be enough for us to make a make another rifle. At least that's what I'm hoping. At least that's what I'm hoping for. But yeah, that's all for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys tune in for the next one. We're gonna be doing another quest and possibly a nighttime quest. So make sure you tune into that. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good one. Peace.